Hiya, welcome back to The Wandering Photographer. <laughs> Where am I today? Well, I found another little place to wander to. Uh, it's always great to find new inspiration for my photography shots and all, which are piling up and away. And they're not staying on my uh, laptop. They're not staying on any digital devices. All the photographs I take, which I like, print them. Put them in the attic or the loft, put them somewhere where they can be found when you're dead and gone. Because all this media, all these mobile phones would take hundreds of photographs and people showing them. You all disappear. Change your phone, you change your laptop, you lose lose all their stuff in your laptop. Even the stuff you back up on, on backup will get lost. And even stuff, I have an awful lot of stuff on cloud. And even that will eventually get lost somewhere along the line. Because technology changes and something better will come someday down the road than cloud. So print them, the ones you like, put them away. Always write on them, on the back of them, some reference to where they are. Because I can remember my mother taking photographs years ago. And on the back she had just where dates, what it was about. And uh, <laughs> otherwise you're looking at something going, Jesus Christ, where was that? When was that? Is that me granny or not me granny? Right now, look where I am today. This is a little room I'm in. Okay, this is a whole house. Someone lived here. Got three windows, fireplace, roof, one window, two windows, three windows. <laughs> now, I know some people live in camper vans and stealth vans and all that and go around. I think they have more room in a stealth van or a camper van uh, than uh, in this little place here. But this place has history. This place is part of an old church. And geez, if you can't get a photograph here, well, you may you may sit down and think about doing something else to, to occupy your time. This is a church that was built back, uh, I suppose, about 200 years ago. Not this bit here, this little house, but about 200 years ago. Or maybe a little bit more, a little bit less. I haven't looked into it. I do know the name of the guy who built this church. It was called Lord Courtown. It's when the British used to own Ireland and we used to do what we were told. Do what you're told. They were in Ireland for 600 or 800 years. It took 800 years to get them out until 1916. The big rising and bang, bang, bang. Loads was spilt. And then in 1922, uh, another war, civil war, when the Brits leave everywhere. Like, India, wherever they leave, there's always a civil war on afterwards. So there's one here, so we started fighting ourselves afterwards, looking for the power and all that. But this was built by Lord Courtown back in the day, and he had this massive house down the road here, and there's not even a stone left on it. But this church he built is a private church for himself and for all the people who used to work on the um, on the sites. It used to own you know hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of acres and. It was like a little industry, but he just happened to live in a house which is probably three times bigger than a normal hotel. But he's dead and gone now. We need to look over there. There's a church. Now this church is, uh, I think it might only open sort of once a month uh, in the summer, and maybe during the winter it opens for Christmas. Well, what's the story this time? Are you going to say hello this time? Are you still going to run? He's not a brave man, this all. <laughs> and he probably have loads of information, especially about fishing and all. <laughs> he used to be a fisherman. He doesn't like the video, because I tried to video him in the other place and took, took a few, took a, a bit of video, but obviously I can't really show it, you know. And uh, people like the privacy, people like the privacy. But this is all about um, trying to get our perf perfect shot, a perfect uh, idea for taking photographs and doing something Something, something which other people aren't quite doing. Something a different age. Something would be remembered. Uh, even if you have to do a bit of Photoshop on it, with, you know, changing the color or you know, whatever you call. You know, look, there's so much you can do in flipping Photoshop. No, I don't use Photoshop. I use GIMP, 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 GIMP. 
why pay for Photoshop when GIMP is just as good as I said before GIMP is just as good as Photoshop it's not obviously it's just as good for anyone which is not professional that's the way I see it right now let's get you a look at the church there there's the church okay the sun's in the background okay hey lads come on you've got to be in the video once at least over here okay hey right, bear hey right, dates here right, dates dates back leg back leg has got a bit sore she's limping all the time little jack russell i don't know why she's been like that for the last four weeks i don't know if you get arthritis or something she's not that old she's only about seven see a limp in there at the back see the back leg lifts come on dates let's go let's go there see it lifting I reckon you get good shots with that. And the nice thing about this is you can come down here, and there's never anyone here. Come down in the winter, summer, wherever you come down, never anyone here. I think pure chance we saw the fisherman going down there. He came down to water some of the flowers. So obviously there's people coming and going just to maintain the place and cut the grass and all that. The old volunteers and all that. Okay, that's about it for now, lads. For reference sake, this is called Kiltenen Church, which is just outside Gorey County, Wexford, Ireland. Open to everybody, guaranteed that there won't be any tourists down here to get in your way. Uh, they are probably welcome tourists, if anything. Um, especially if you have nowhere to, nowhere to sleep. There's a room, that's there, six, I'm coming down here 16 years, and that, that little uh, room there has been there, but, and the door is always open. Oh jeez, I never closed it. Her door is always open, and uh, well, I reckon, I reckon now, we we'll get st stuck, stuck from north to live. It doesn't, you don't really even lock. Get somewhere to stuck to live. That's where I'll end up. I'll just get myself an old, no uh, bed, and um, some camper. I'm going to, I'm going to do a bit more travelling, a bit campy stuff, and uh, eating out more, in the naturey end of stuff. Um, something I'm going to put a bit of thought into. <sighs> Anyone out there has any ideas or any input, please go ahead. Right, okay, this is Murrah here, signing out.